Dutch Nostradamus Hooker Beats prediction of an earthquake in New York on April 5th came true with astonishing accuracy. Let's remember we also had a planetary alignment. Now, on April 5th, an earthquake of magnitude 5.1 occurred in the vicinity of New York. That was around uh, the New, York, New, New Jersey area. The epicenter of the disaster was located 28 miles northeast, no, sorry, northwest of the city of Edison, New Jersey. And it's noteworthy that scientist Frank Hookerbeats warned about seismic activity at this time on the air of the SSGEOS YouTube channel on April 2nd. On Friday morning, residents of New York City and its environs felt the aftershock of the earthquake, and there's still earthquakes going on even up to today, even though they're much smaller, of course, which happens very rarely in these places. No serious damage was reported. Since earthquakes almost never occur in New York, the tremors were widely covered in the media and even interrupted a meeting of the UN General Assembly. Some New Yorkers were alarmed, while others did not even notice what was happening until later. One man said that at first he thought it was caused by some mistake at the construction site or something similar. The city authorities issued an emergency warning informing residents about the possibility of new tremors. Some airports in the region had suspended flights as a precautionary measure. Uh, a day earlier, a magnitude 5.5 earthquake was recorded in Qinghai province in northwest China. In fact, as Hooker Beach from the Netherlands warned back on April 2nd, the same one who predicted the disaster in Turkey in 2023 accurately indicated the epicenter and strength of the earthquake. And the message from the Dutch Nostradamus Hooker Beats on April 2nd was the conjunction of the planets on, May 3rd, on April 3rd may lead to an increase in seismic activity to magnitude 6 or 7 in the area of April 4th and 5th. With the US and China, Hooker Beats got it right, but with the earthquake in Taiwan, which occurred April 3rd, he was wrong by just one day. That was the 7.4, remember? Now, although he did not specify the place, his prediction came true. Seismic activity indeed increased significantly, and this does not happen often enough to be a coincidence as the Earth's bowels are shaking nearly every day. We have tens of magnitude 5 earthquakes all over the place, especially around the Ring of Fire every day. Now, it's known from Hookerbeat's own stories that he judges the probability and scale of a particular seismic event by analyzing the location of the planets in our, solar, uh, our moon, they form certain figures that allow us to draw conclusions from the near future. A special computer program, almost artificial intelligence, looks for similarities in today's figures with those that were built earlier during powerful earthquakes, and it signals impending danger. And a picture of how the planets of the solar system have been aligned positioned and uh, will be located relative to each other is demonstrated by the simulator solar system simulator software and uh, right now the earth venus neptune are guilty quote unquote the science in the predictions is as follows the behavior of the earth's interior is allegedly influenced by the electromagnetic charge which with a special critical geometry of the planets contributes to the release of tension accumulated at the boundaries of tectonic plates. For the sake of fairness, it should be said that the Dutchman's prophecies are meaningless without specific places, but still there is definitely something in his method methodology. Maybe serious scientists should pay attention to it and utilize it somehow. It's noteworthy that seismologist Hugobitz does not report where exactly the next earthquake will occur, However, it provides information about the dates and strength of seismic activity quite accurately. And this is on Solask. Please leave your comments. Thank you for your support. I kindly support my Patreon account. The daily posts are five videos daily, and they are totally different from what I have on my YouTube channel. Thank you so much for your support and that you find all my content so interesting. 
You'll find the Patreon account details in the description box below.